up nerds welcome back to my channel guys <laughs> i'm actually so excited for today's video we are talking about new to me authors so authors i read for the most part like books from in 2024 um first time trying this author but authors that i fell in love with after reading one of their books um or like ones that are just like on my radar now i wanted to share with those with you we have seven here um, I believe, and I was like, do I want to just, like, make it 10? But I was like, there are some authors that, like, um, you guys know I love. And so I don't want to, like, hound on those, <laughs> i.e. Kathy Navarra. I don't want to, like, you know, be that horse at this point. So we're going to talk about the newer ones that are, like, newer to me in 2024, like, recently that I've I've tried. So they're not necessarily new authors. Don't get that twisted. Um, they're just new to me and that I'm loving. So... First, if you guys like talking about authors, if you guys like author dedicated videos, if you guys like all the nerdy things, then definitely give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button without further ado, let's just get started. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know, but if you don't know, I like to sit on the floor um, recently just because it gets so hot and like my chair, I love that chair so much, I sit in it all the time, but if I'm sitting in it, I could crank on my AC, but <laughs> because I can't turn on my AC while I'm filming, um, I try to keep it as cool as possible, so um, <laughs> I don't sit in the chair, but anyway, let's jump right in. I am waiting for some food, so it should be here soon, um, but <laughs> we're gonna just jump right in, so. I don't know in no particular order because i feel like these are all equal i've just been obsessed with ashley poston 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 i honestly only have read the seven year slip but i was like this author is incredible incredible she's kind of a genius and so i have to support all of her releases i'm gonna buy the dead romantics i think i'm just gonna wait for fall for that one but i did buy her new book like right when it released i was like oh i actually waited for the bookstore but like i bought it as soon as i could um this is called a novel love story i honestly don't even know what this book is about i have no idea what this book is about but i was like i need it it's signed by her as well and that like totally made me fangirl <laughs> i was like oh my god <laughs> so like it's just all around she's just all around ticking a lot of the boxes um and so i'm excited to see what this was all about i heard i think destiny like was said this wasn't her favorite out of her like books but like either way i'm like she's constantly like on my radar so um when i get the chance i will be buying the dead romantics and i will continue to buy her releases i don't know i haven't checked her backlist yet i don't know if she has any other books but like once i read the dead once i read all these books <laughs> i will definitely be checking for more because i just i really like uh, it was like instantly like after i finished that book i was like oh no wait i need more from this author um and me and my friend buddy read um we read um the seven year slip together and so we both were like wow she's like incredible and so we're like yeah we need more of that we need more of whatever that is the next author we have is christina lauren so we know like, like we've all heard of love in other words by christina lauren i just never felt motivated to read that book um my friend actually started it and she was like it's kind of boring and so like we definitely don't have the same taste in like books so like i may appreciate it more than she does um but i still felt like it's just not one that i was, like really it was not calling my name i feel like there are some books that i've read too that people say are similar to love in other words that i didn't like and so there's definitely like reasonings in my head that I know that I won't be reading that book um but um I did read the paradise problem and I was like this book is really good <laughs> it's definitely like not my number of favorite book or anything like that but I definitely thought it was so enjoyable that when she was I saw she was coming out with um tangled up in you in June I was like oh I need it and so hopefully this book is good but I still I feel like though because of the paradise problem being so good um she kind of again it put her on my radar so now i'm like looking for her stuff i do look at some of her backlist um you guys will have to let me know which books of your hers is your favorite that besides love in other words um <laughs> because i don't necessarily love that book <laughs> sorry i know for a fact what i said just didn't make sense but i just got my food and not me paying i just paid like so i got it delivered so the the burrito oh my gosh yeah the burrito, I just ordered this burrito, it cost $15. Are we so for real? Like, be so for real. This little freaking thing, are you kidding me? <laughs> There's no way, not even one. And then I definitely ordered a side of um, home fries that are not here. So, that's fun. This is what happens when you order from a new place, because I've never ordered from here before. I'm going on a tangent one second gosh sorry that's so annoying because they, everyone knows like 
Whether we did, we could deny it all we want. I know, like, for a while, I just, me and my siblings just went through a phase where we didn't eat breakfast. But, like, as much as we could deny it, then breakfast really is the most important meal of the day. And so it makes me mad. I'm like, don't ruin my breakfast. <laughs> Even though it's, like, almost, it's, almost, it's 12.30. <laughs> okay, anyway, I was saying to recommend me some other Christina Lauren books because I will purchase them if you guys love them. But ones that are not Love in Other Words because that book is just, like, I don't want to read that book. So let me know some other recommendations and then I will keep you guys updated on this book as well. But she's definitely on my radar. So, um, I should say, I keep saying she, but it's two authors, I believe. It's Christina and Lauren, I believe. <laughs> All right, then we have, of course, Miss Leah Stone. So there are some books that are on my Kindle that I just have to, like, read, um, and you guys know how that is. But um, I, after I read the series, I was just obsessed. First of all, I'm like, oh, look at all these. It's so freaking stunning. This is a YA series, and um, I'm just, it's such a good series. Her writing is so good, so quick-paced, so, like... I don't know she's just very upfront with everything like I feel like it's so forward like you know you don't have to think about this hidden meaning behind this and it's not like that and so I just I love her writing and so I, there are some books that I'm like oh I bought I've checked her backlist there are some that I'm like um um seem like I don't want to say Watt Patty but like almost Watt Patty but like I don't know I might check them out anyway <laughs> I just have to like buy them and put them on my shelf because you guys know if it's on my Kindle it's gonna take me forever to read them but she's definitely I'm looking at all of her books her new releases I believe she has a book coming out soon or it just came out that I'm like <gasps> I need to buy it <laughs> and so they're definitely like always pops up I'm like she'll like do a character description I'm like mm. <laughs> so you guys know I'll be talking about her books all the time there's only the only uh fantasy like series here um, and you guys know how I feel about YA, like, sometimes it's, like, hit or miss for me, for sure, but the series is just so good. 10 out of 10, five-star series, you need to read it. Next, we have Miss Hannah Bonham Young! So, I've actually read Out on the Limb prior to 2024, um, and... I loved it. I was like, oh my gosh, so obsessed. So that is kind of how I started to, like, uh, the other two books were on my radar. But once I read um, the other two books, <laughs> basically the other series, I fell in love. Like, Hannah Bonham Young is probably one of my, like, top five favorite authors. She definitely, like, knocks some people off the, out the, out the thing because her writing is so good. It's also very quick paced. Um, it's so, like, I don't want to say funny but she has a lot of humor in them like it's such a good time like I feel like um I said this about like out on the limb I felt like it was like a warm hug you just feel cozy on the inside you feel like so much joy when you read these you're just a happy person I don't know these books just make me so happy and so um it's definitely her writing style so anything she puts out I will buy she's coming out with a second book to out on a limb I will buy that instantly like I probably will pre-order it <laughs> because I need it in my life and so I just I will read anything she puts out but out and I'm obsessed she has lots of tropes like single parent tropes accidental pre pregnancy friends to lovers uh, and then the newest one is gonna be like they're mar already married so I don't know what the trope is with that like uh something in your marriage I don't know <laughs> but I will I love her so much and obviously like again she, so I've read her book in the past but her like my love for her definitely started in 2024 and I'm just so glad that I read these other books if you have not read if you've read on a limb you loved it read her backlist do it do it now you will not be disappointed all right, so then we have, this author surprised me, and I think she's just going to have to take Sarah Adams' place if Sarah Adams doesn't, like, if she keeps coming out with open-door romance. <laughs> because the sh Annabelle Monaghan writes closed-door romance. I didn't know. So, um, I, not that I'm, like, I'm not always actively looking for closed-door romance. I do feel like sometimes it's hard because they're just, like cornier and they're just like not <laughs> sometimes they're not it um and I do have to say Sarah Adams does write like very corny cheesy like romances but I really liked a lot of her books and she definitely had her own pedestal but her most recent release was Open Door. It was only one chapter, so you could just skip the chapter. Um, but I just think at that point, you don't need it then. <laughs> like, there's no point into it. But then also in that chapter, they, like, start to, like, it's, like, um, almost like confessions. You know what I mean? <laughs> they're, like, saying how much they like each other or stuff like that. And so it's kind of, like, hard to not read that. Whatever. All that to be said, that, like, that mantle, I'm, like, I, if you're going to keep coming out with Open Door, I have to compare you to all the other Open Door authors. Like, you're, you can't get your own shelf. You can't get your own place in my head. So, um, Annabelle Monaghan might just get that crown because her writing is so, so good. It's very mature, and I like that. Um, it's still funny. It's still cute. Like, there's still good moments. I'm getting so hot. But, um, it's very mature, and so I appreciate that. Um, they're very quick-paced. Like, there's so much to these 
I should say to this one that um instantly I was like oh I need to buy her backlist so um I did pick up same time next summer because obviously it's summer and then I want to read Nora goes off script I don't know what season that's supposed to be in but like there was a coffee on the cover and so I was like maybe that's giving fall I just trying to not buy so many books right now but um once I read same time next summer I probably will go ahead and buy the Nora goes off script because I'm just obsessed and I know um uh Hayley Pham, oh my gosh, <laughs> Hayley Pham, but I also know like Sarah Caroli, Destiny, I believe they all like just really love this author and I'm like right there with you, they're so good, she's so good and um, I was living under a rock, please do not live under a rock, let me tell you that these are so good, so freaking good, only two more, um, this video is not gonna be super long, I, I, I do, I love Here's the thing. I love, like, you know, it's expressing to you guys my favorite authors or, like, authors that I'm just loving because I, I just feel like you give credit where credit's due, you know? Like, there are so many books out, so many authors writing so many books, and I, like, we always hear about the same ones over and over, which rightfully so. Abby Jimenez is incredible. <laughs> um... But I do think there are other authors out there, and I think for me, that's the thing, like, a lot of the same authors go viral, if you will, um, and it's so surprising when it's, like, another author that's gone viral, and so I just want to be the one to, like, obviously express this to you if you're looking for other authors. Like, it's, like, okay to, like, branch out. I have a couple new authors on my shelf, like, Tara DeWitt, I've never read anything from, so I'm excited about that. I have a Daphne Perry book, which I'm excited about that. Like, there are, I have other books that I'm, like, trying new authors, and so I want to express them to you as I'm, like, falling in love with them, so you guys no too you know so we can all be informed all right then we have so this one is actually like a um i don't want to say like cheating but uh this one is i <laughs> we have lauren asher so i've actually loved i read the it's right here the dreamland billionaire series i think like probably a year ago at this point like i've read it a while ago and for me i really liked the final offer that was my favorite book and it was kind of like the ending of the series and so it's kind of just put me at a like almost an impasse with lauren asher because i'm like the three out of the three books I only liked one like that's not a very good like odds here um but then she came out with um Love Redesigned and I honestly I enjoyed this book it's not gonna be my favorite number one favorite book or anything like that um I, this is Enemies to Lovers or something like Second Chance or something like that it's not my favorite book but I really enjoyed it actually I enjoyed it so much so that I ended up buying Throttled by Lauren Asher um I've never read like F1 Romance or anything like that so this one was kind of like huh let's see what the juicy tea is and sure enough this book done done me in and so now I'm obsessed <laughs> and so I'm waiting for the new covers because she came out with like new covers um so when the next new covers come out I'll buy the next book but like she really put herself on the map for me with this book and believe it or not this was like her first series that people are like kind of like oh like it's not her best work and I'm like <laughs> this book is so good better than both of the first two final offer books honestly it's better than this book I liked it better than this book and so that's saying a lot to me but um definitely like put her on my radar and so I know for a fact like I'm, I was gonna buy this series no matter what especially because they always say that they they said the way they just like the way they um people hyped this book up was by saying that Cal and Alana um from Final Offer like make cameos and sure enough they did and so I was like eh. <laughs> my, my my I was gonna say my babies but I don't know my besties I don't know <laughs> my favorite people of the whole world so anyway um it just put it on the map for me so I think that like definitely found a new love and appreciation for Lauren Asher she definitely has a style and I think if you like grumpy mean nasty <laughs> horrible boys that like end up coming around i think you will like a lot of the series besides cal final offer is the only one that's not written like that but it's fine um so i was very excited and very like motivated and hyped up and really like ugh, i really want to read love unwritten um by lauren asher so um i cannot wait to read this one and you guys will definitely be updated and i will let you guys know for sure how i'm feeling I'll, this one also has a lot of amazing tropes in it so it's kind of like that too but like I think in general just because I loved throttled so much so now I'm like oh I need to read this and I want to finish the um dirty air series as well um so yes there's that all right last but certainly not least um this one is also it's not a series cheating I just have to like check her backlist because I don't know if she has any other books out um but like obviously that means I wasn't that excited if I didn't check her backlist yet but honestly more so um reason more so in love with this author for this series specifically and that is the um what is it the Jacksonville Rays hockey series okay <laughs> the Jacksonville Rays 
<laughs> the Jacksonville Rays stop. This series is so freaking bomb. So good. I'm sure you guys don't even know what those are. This is the series. Um, so it's Pucking Around, the Pucking Wild series. There's one more coming out soon. And I'm so, not one more. There's another one coming out soon. I think the series, I'm hoping she keeps the series going for, a, going for as long as possible because these books are so good. These are very open door. They're meant to be like, you know, spicy, the whole thing. Um, but they are just so good and I didn't know I could love hockey romance the way that I love these. You just love the characters. I love the team. I don't know. I think that's just what it is. A lot of these sports romances that I didn't know but I like have a thing for teams. Like I love the team like found family kind of vibe but like within your team like your brothers. They were like I love that. I eat that up every time and that's why I'm just eating these up because then the friendship between like the main characters is just so good. The girls are best friends in these but then also the boys are like best friends and I love that they all play on the same hockey team. So I love that. Anyway I ate these up. I ate these up so much and I freaking love I'm a sucker for novellas. These are the two little there's three novellas. I didn't read the first one because whatever. But these are the two that I read and I freaking love these little novellas. I love them so much that I bought them <laughs> because they're little itty bitty like things that obviously there was not very much work put into them, the, the covers and stuff, but I wanted it so bad. So um, I'm obsessed with this series. I think it is so good. And um, Emily Raff, if she comes out with, that's the thing, like if she comes out with other books that I see like in store or whatever, I will definitely like keep my eye out and I'm sure like Goodreads will, I'm sure we all will know. Um, but I think she's working really hard in the Jacksonville Rays series and I'm like, yes girl, keep doing what you're doing. <laughs> Don't get distracted <laughs> because I love the series so much. So, um, yes, <laughs> those are all the authors. Like, again, I've been loving a lot of authors. There are a lot of authors that definitely have like my favorite author title, like a, a standard. And so some of these are definitely like scooting up there. We'll see again, depending on how many books I read for them and that kind of stuff. But, um, you yeah, guys, so that is everything. Let me know what new authors you found this, this year so far, like what new authors new to you authors you're loving um basically it could be an author you read from the book a book from the first time or like a new author that definitely just first came out with a book this year um let your girl know um and yeah <laughs> I will see you in my next one I'm working really hard on a really long um reading vlog it's not I hope it's not gonna be too long but I know that it's gonna be a lot of books in one video and so I'm trying to like um working really hard on that and so I know you guys are gonna be really excited about it so it may or may not have been in a poll option last week, but I wanted to spice it up, so we'll see. <laughs> Alright, bye guys! Sorry, bye nerds. I just really messed that up. Bye nerds! <laughs>